that's it. You are gone. Mm -hmm. You're sent home. And that's Nagi right. and Lorez definitely don't want to go home. So they're pouring on the damage. Ah! Wait a minute. I might have spoken too soon. <laughs> oh, no. Not like this. Not again. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Ham Hammer ground pound goes through, and I am just over my breath. I'm like, okay. Well, we saw we saw DB do so well with so many hammer ground pounds in the previous set that I'm just expecting those to automatically hit, but that one does not. And we're going in here, and Kyle oh. Polita doing got the recovery. Well the oh. Lores in trouble. There they go. Mexo now here on. What are they on? Oh, I think it's the coach. I yeah. like that. I absolutely love Holding that. Hit confirmed. Yeah. That it was on your teammate. So you Killed keep them. charging the signature to let them get out. Yeah, there are some very uh, cool signatures that work that way. And we just so happen to see both both, uh, both players on the red team actually have a signature that works like that, right? With Koji on the sword. Yep. And you end up hitting your teammate with the person at the side saying, you go, I'm waiting, and then you go out of the way, right? Because <laughs> like, you don't Get away, get away, get yeah, away. Yeah, because it, it technically has two hits, and the first hit is before the charge, the second hit's after it. And you'll see Koji players will sometimes delay that long enough to get a little bit of extra force while it's still being mm -hmm. true. But anyway, I digress. We've got ourselves an even-ish game here. So yeah, I mean, stocks have been falling stock. pretty quickly. I mean, just even like a minute and 10 seconds in, four stocks were gone mm. total across the board. Ooh, nicely done from the red team here. Both Nagi and uh, Laura trying to make it back. There's enough wall space. These double maps, you may notice, it's slightly different than the Mammoth Fortress you might be fighting on in your 1v1 cues. Mm -hmm. That's because, hey, when we're in the doubles, it's not small Mammoth Fortress, it's just Mammoth Fortress. Yeah, so those walls, significantly longer. You can basically look at that necklace of teeth and bones there at the bottom right as the point where it's just like, that, yep. that, that's what's holding the stage together, and in singles, <laughs> it literally just someone just cut the rope. The rest of the stage just falls off, oh, and you've man. got yourself small Mammoth Fortress. Low res, trying to make it back. Nicely done by Nagi to be able to bring him uh, right into the loving arms of Manexo there with that recovery against the shutdown. Low res goes down three to two now, as Nagi is on the verge of having a pretty early knockout relative to everybody else on the screen. Let's see if they can hold on here. It's, man, they're just taking a ton of damage. Oh, Manexo just so threatening in that space, even without swinging any attacks. Forced them both over to Kayo, so that way Kayo got the spear recovery. It, it's Ooh. just you have to respect Manexo. Yeah. Oh, and there they go. Clean. Almost simultaneously. So three stocked by Manexo and Kaibolina. Lorez and Nagi struggling a bit. Equally, actually. There was only a six damage difference between how much they dealt that game. They were getting about the same amount of hits in and taking about the same amount of damage. It was yep. just a struggle overall in game number one. Really great job coming out from the red team. He's just knockout after knockout. Ends up setting up the wide edge guard. Oh, look at that downstairs. Birds. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look at this. One off the top, yep. one sniped on the side. Yeah, Manexo was able to get the side signature gravity canceled. Maybe they would have been able to connect it off of that down signature, but the weapon toss afterwards was still a great confirm to be able to get that 1-0 lead for the red team. And now we're going into game number two back to Mammoth Fortress, and it looks like we've gone from one double axe team to the other. Uh, off the double terrace to the double brim. Going okay. into game number two. So trying to see, like, okay, maybe maybe a change of stats, signatures, and a, a secondary weapon uh, will be a, a good enough change. For you know, they, they took a look at Kayo's spear from last game, and they're like, that looks good. I'll try that. Yeah, that could be it. I mean, Kayo is looking pretty fantastic. And so far, so good. Neutral yeah. stick, slide charge, hits. Oh, oh. there was the clash, three-way clash right there, right? Of, of everybody hitting each other at the same time. It's miraculously everybody surviving as the neutral stick comes out from Kaibalina and that will take the stock off of Nagi, evening oh. these up five to five. Flores went for the turnaround, but didn't manage to touch ground in the meantime, paid for it with his stock. Kayo, the only one left on their initial stock. Yeah. Recovery hits, he can't quite get the nair afterwards. Low res, avoids getting hit by the pummel on the gauntlets, and then picks up the ax. Nice, okay, oh, okay. Oh, what? I, that. We're just swinging, my we're just swinging now. right now. <laughs> like, I, I feel like it's just bouncing all over the place, but okay. Going into this game, let's see if Nagi's able to survive a little bit longer here. Neutral like miss misses there. Something about Poe that I think is really cool as a legend in general. Is that is side that, signature? Well, okay. It's pretty nice. The side stick's really nice because if you miss it, you're not getting that punish. And if you hit it, well, it's got crazy force. But in particular, they have the same role. He has the same role with his neutral signal, both spear mm. and gauntlet. We are this anti-jump machine. Uh, and oh, you could do yeah. it pretty reliably. And we saw him using it a few times here where he's conditioning his opponents to stay on the ground. Whereas Koji, pretty good at punishing grounded opponents with just about everything except for the, 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 uh, the neutral signal bow, I guess. 
That is very true. Incredibly. Oh my gosh. How? Caught them both. How? I can't believe Kaiblin is getting so much off of what I consider to be the hardest to use signature in Wushong's kit, to be honest. That down signature, I'm just kind of like, why use that when you could be side singing or whatever have you? But Kaio's just got the magic touch. That is for sure. And they've used it in so many different ways. We're utilizing all the properties, right? Actually hit a teammate, hold it for longer, or or just hold it for longer to catch somebody off guard with the blast, yep. or let it go right away to be able to get that knockout. But there goes Manexo. Uh -oh. And right afterwards is Kaibalina. It is so close. Uh, it's up to Nagi to be able to hold on to the stock as long as possible. And hopefully low res can get some extra credit here because, oh, it, it is a it is a dicey 1v2. I will say they, I, I think they got themselves this position on the back of Nagi, being able to survive yeah. while still being a presence in the game. Yep. A lot of times you'll see the player that's on their last stock red, they'll kind of play too Ooh. far back in a support position and not really, oh, oh my god. He held that for so long though. If Nagi did hold the side stick, I think that was the game. Mm -hmm. But he held the side stick and then Kaibalina gets the neutral stick on the jump read. Recovery's coming out and Lorez has no weapon and Kaibalina oh, has advantage. Where's the weapon smile gonna be? Is he gonna deny it? No, nice pickup from Lores. 1v1. This is what I was talking about, that dicey 1v2, right? It just takes that one solid hit. I, I thought yep. it was gonna yep. work. I thought it was gonna work, but it was perfect space to come up from Lores of the ground pound to punish him. Yeah, that's the thing. After that initial hand swirl, you're just oh. open above and below. Oh man, such great movement with the Poe. The side air's not enough. All right, weapon tosses. Oh no, well. the umbrella. Lores went for the ground pound to the recovery, and Lores makes it back. Ground pound hits, does not hit either. Oh my gosh! How did he know? How did he know? We were talking about the sides a little bit earlier. And that is a great example of how good it is, right? Yep. Because if Kaya missed, it, you didn't have to wait for the rest of the, that animation. It's just the poke at the very beginning, right? Yeah. It's when the hit confirm comes through that you get the powerful hit. What makes that signature so darn good is that it's pretty safe to use yep. on, on the edge of the situation like that. And just reacting to how many jumps they had left, so fantastic, look at that, look at that. Oh. He's bot dodges, he goes oh. like, okay, I guess I'll win. Jeez, wow. just in time. Perfectly timed dodge. And the sli he Perfect slide punish. charge pivots that neutral signature. So it looks Jeez. like he's dashing in. Lorez goes to reposition to deal something about it. But instead he turns around, takes down Nagi. What a fantastic play coming from Kaibalina. And that is a win if I've ever seen one. Manexo very happy Ooh. about that. All right, they only managed to get two hits on it, but they had both Lorez and Nagi caught in that team combo. So just any amount of damage that you're doing, just double it. Great teleport from Manexo to send Nagi wide. Red team really just running away with the damage lead. Oh my gosh. 25 seconds in, there's one stock working on the second. Yep, sure enough, Manexo, unstoppable. Oh, Sire coming through. Let's see what Nagi's able to do. We're in game number three here. Kabalina and Manexo in the lead two to zero. Nagi and Lores were switched off of Teros in game number one, but they decided to stick with game uh, with the Brins in game number three because, I mean, by all means, game number two was winnable. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah like Kabalina just definitely played out of his mind. Oh, man! The ladder combo, the neutrals to get the end. Nagi and Lores show that double Brin synergy. It was a thing of beauty. It was an absolute thing of beauty. It's four stocks for each team, but look at how imbalanced it is. Manexo still on their first. Kayo, unfortunately, on their last. Got to avoid the team combo. Yep, falls just to the outside. Kayo lives to fight another day. Oh, man. And now Downlight Sider comes through. Nagi goes in for the recovery. Oh, man. Is just so difficult here. Okay, side air hits through, ground pound hits, low res, goes uh -oh. down at the bottom. And even though Kaibalina was on such a deficit, uh, he's been doing an okay job, not taking too much damage. I mean, they, he was on one stock when Manexa was on three, which is the polar opposite from game number, the last game that we were just on. Yeah, you see so many players in that uh, danger zone. Kaio first to fall, Manexo and Nagi both deep in the red, but They've got two stocks apiece. Manexo really just needs to avoid his final stock getting a sandwich team combo. Oh, yeah. I, it, it's it's pretty difficult here. I feel like Nagi and Lorez have got this at this point. I mean, we saw that amazing comeback before, but I mean, 
when when Nagi had this much damage on him, he had one stock, right? Like it's yep. two stocks now in this situation. So three stocks to one is super difficult. But let's see what Manex was able to do on the bow. Well, he hasn't gotten uh, tagged too I much guess, for. I guess if he takes down low res, there's a argument, right? Dance comes through. He's let's, got the momentary power see, play. Let's see if he can get. Let, let, I say power play, but it's just Lawrence a one looks v one. That and Lawrence just jumps away. And he's like, like not today. Yeah. There's no reason to take that risk, no matter how confident you are in the 1v1. Oh, that bow ground pound, though. That could be the factor. Mm. It has such incredible force, even at low damage, that Manexo could just turn this around on Nagi. Oh, he's Ooh. hunting for it. Ground pound hits. Down that disarm hits. beat and out the recovery as well. Game number two going the way of Nagi and Loras. Yeah. We got a 1-1. One, one. The 3-0 yeah. curse has been broken. That is true. And man, you know, Minexo did pretty well uh, in that 1v2, all things considered. Looking at how much damage uh, Lores had at the very end was pretty surprising to me, considering how long of a situation that was being in a 3v1. So let's see what happens in game number three. As so far, uh, the red team has been put into these oh. last stock scenarios, whether it's Kaya or Minexo having to fight the 1v2 uh, and just not quite able to, uh, or in one case, they're able to win the entire thing in that position. But if you're constantly mm. being put into these mm. 1v2 situations, it's not going to look good in the long run. Like, you can't just keep betting. I mean, I guess you can. You, it's not I very mean, smart, in my opinion, to keep betting. You could keep betting, <laughs> but if you keep losing, yes. should you? Yes. It, 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 my opinion, when it comes to 1v2s, it's best to avoid them, right? You want to you okay. yeah, yeah. be in the situation where you're you in the two. You want the consistency. Yeah, right? Or, or at least get it to where all these stocks are being knocked off at the same time. So, yeah, looking into that game, uh, having Manexo be in that situation was pretty rough. Kai Bolino did go down. Like almost instantly to an amazing team combo, though. Yeah. yeah uh, and, and if that doesn't happen again, I can imagine this next game going a lot Three, closer. Two, one, well, here we go. Mammoth Fortress once again run it back. Uh, let's see. Kaya on the spear. Try to land with that neutral air. Nagi and Laura is doing a good job of controlling the center stage and falling with that side air means that they're going to have even more damage coming out. And now Nagi finally taking something of damage, but low res. Oh, leading my next of stock. So well done. I feel like that escalated so quickly. It didn't. It didn't seem like they had any crazy combos. It was just like stray hits here and there, and then all of a sudden you're gone, and it's gone. Ooh, Cider hits oh into the Cider of Lores. Uh oh, that is not That's the good. blender. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. And you're gone. Neutralite hits. Side air whiffs. Manexo running back to the right side of the stage. Oh, oh those oh, down oh. coming out from Cabellino not working out quite so well this time around. Neutralite hits. Side air, side light comes through. And that recovery almost does it. Low res. Trying to go in for the side signature, and man, red team just seems to be falling apart at this point in the set. It was looking decently good for them in their Ooh. first win, but man, oh man, it is six stocks to three now, and it could be six stocks to two at this rate. Yeah, Laura's definitely just cutting up. Tons of damage going out. Nagi, first one to get knocked out from the blue team, but that massive lead still doing work for them. Ooh, Nutris League hits. Yeah, but again, is that a trade that you can afford to make? Yeah. Well, Lores goes down. Kaibalina has been doing a good job on his second stock here. Manexo, however, I feel like it's just a matter of time before they go down. Neutralite Cider hits. Oh, that hurts. Oh, oh no. no. I mean, that almost knocked up Manexo on its own there. Manexo running for his life, picks up a bow. But this is almost certainly going to the next game oh, at this yeah. point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Four stocks to one. Kyle Bellini uh, needs a miracle to make this yeah, one. Yeah, not going to happen there. Oh, the recovery coming through. I feel like that was a little little off the cup there, considering that it was an unarmed combo coming out from them. Yep. But that works out well. And Lores and Nagi are going to bring this to a game point at this rate. Oh, with the bonk? Yep. Absolutely. Four stock victory. Fantastic job from Nagi and Lores and the double brin working out so well. Uh, for them going into this set, uh, getting off of the Taros was just such a huge deal for them going forward. And now, game number four, going into game four. Two one. 
2-1, Nagi Lorez oh, with no the switches. lead. Man, look at that. Yeah, this what well, these one v two situations are like. It's very, it's very nice for the winning team because you just be like, wow, you played so fantastic. Three, two, it, it, it's one, it's interesting four. to me in those scenarios where it's like when it's four to one. I'm like, ooh, yep, you, I've been there. You've been yeah. there. It, it, you gotta you gotta just do the best that you can and move on to the next game. And now we're on Mammoth Fortress match point for Nagi and Lorez. Let's see if Manexo and Kaya can bring it in to a game five. Oh man. True combo all the way from side air to side air. You could tell because Lorez was able to activate the directional influence and send himself downwards off of a side air. Oh. Unfortunately, that still was a ton of damage going his way, mounted in his first knockout. Red team starting to uh, mount the comeback that they need for this set. Side air hit, side light, Nair comes through. Oh man, and that side air comes in. Kaibalina Gets the weapon throw down, holds on to the stock, and out six stocks to four. Huge for the red team here. It's been a while since we've seen him in the lead like this. Oh, yeah. Went for the alley-oop. Akayo scraping on by back to stage. Gets a little bit of a recovery hit. Unfortunately, bouncing around too much. Ooh. Look at the damage build. I mean, at this point, I feel like it is in the red team's favor for Kaya just to go down. Stop letting Manexo take so much damage here. Manexo's in red, and you spend so much time recovering that when you, by the time you get back, Manexo's going to be gone on his last stock. I mean, they already managed to knock him into the red. Yeah. So Nagi and Lorez, they're looking for that seesaw action. You know, you knock out one of the opponents, uh, and now and you get that quality time alone in the 2v1. Yeah, it, it, it is oftentimes, uh, I feel like, in the favor of the winning team to let somebody just live on three stocks when they're so red that a simple ah. neutral light will send them flying and it won't take them down so that you could focus on the teammate. But now it's three stocks to one, shut down. Nagi is here on their last stock. Down light downer hits through him and Exo is trying to get some extra damage in uh, before they end up possibly going out. Oh man, Kayo has really taken a beating from everybody on the field, including his teammate. That was so much damage so quickly but now we're in that situation. It's last stock for everybody. Ooh, ground pound comes through. Kaibalina really taking a risk there. Cider hits. Oh, no, Nagi has hit. Okay. Oh, Slash cheeky. Just, that was cool because if it didn't work, they got back to the stage. Yep. Completely safe. And that's why, I, yeah, that, that was so neat. There's a lot of creativity coming up in these slide charge neutral six from Kaibalina in general. Neutral six cards to cover that jump. Oh, man. Oh. This is such an actually close game because if Manexa goes down a little early, that 1v2 could be really tough for Kaio. Kaio was looking for the pogo, but he gets caught in the tosses. Oh, it's so close. Even Somebody's now. gonna explode. Oh, off friendly fire. Oh, Red team wins. that you know that's gotta burn. Yeah. That's gotta burn. Yeah, that that hurts for sure. Friendly fire and off of the one move in the game that I feel like lasts like five thousand frames. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, like, so it's just like <laughs> your opponent could just decide what it is that they want to knock you out with. It's like all right, let's let's line up and let's set that up. Mm. Oh. Yeah, so I knew that double Taros game didn't evaporate. That was game All three. All right, yeah. you were right. Uh, yeah, but you know it's okay. Uh, going into that, that, so that is that was a game three victory coming out from Kaibalina and uh, Minexo. So they were able to take it three to two in a game five scenario. There you go.